Hello students, in this lecture I am going to cover electrochemistry and then Nernst equation and its application. The references are engineering chemistry by Jain and Jain, by Shashi Chawla and uh, numericals are taken from the baiju.com and jntu.ac.in. So, the first is what is electrochemistry? So, electrochemistry is a branch of chemistry or branch of science in which we study about the free energy change or chemical change and then conversion into electrical energy. That is, in this we study about the electrode potential and then conversion of chemical energy into electrical energy. So, this is, there are two types of cells. First is electrochemical cell and second is electrolytic cell. So, electrochemical cells are those type of cell which convert directly chemical energy into electrical energy. While in electrolytic cell, electrical energy is required for chemical change and then chemical reaction occur and which uh, give the energy. So, in electrochemical, the best example is galvanic cell and the potential which is calculated in this uh, equation is called electrode potential. So, what is this electrode potential? So, what is this electrode potential? If we dip the metal electrode into its solution, then definitely either it will lose the electron or gain the electron. So, tendency of electrode to lose the electron is called oxidation potential and the tendency of electrode to gain the electron is called reduction potential. So, there is two term, first is oxidation and second is reduction. So, to remember this oxidation reduction and where the gain or where the loss of electron, simple learn gain or loan. I think loan is much better. So, in case of loan, L means loss of electron, O oxidation and An is anode. So, the chemical the reaction where the loss of electron, it is called oxidation and oxidation always occur at anode. Similarly, where the gain of electron is called reduction and it occurs at cathode. So, in this case, when the metal either lose or gain the electron, definitely it will form opposite charge layer and this opposite charge layer, it is called Helmholtz double layer and because of this Helmholtz double layer, the potential difference will create and this potential difference is called electrode potential. And if the potential is due to loss of electron, it is called oxidation and if due to gain of electron, then it is called reduction. Okay? And to calculate this electrode potential, the reference electrode is preferred and which is called standard hydrogen electrode. This. And in this standard hydrogen electrode, a simple platinum wire is there and which is a platinum coated and which is dipped in one molar H ion solution. And here continuously hydrogen gas is passed at one atmospheric pressure. And if it is attached with another electrode where the reduction will occur, so it will work as a uh, oxidation that is anode. And if it is attached with another electrode which is work as a anode, then it will work as a cathode. And the potential is you can we can say either oxidation or reduction it is zero. So, for hydrogen electrode uh, whether oxidation or reduction its potential is zero. Now, galvanic cell. 
because in Nast equation, we should know ki where the oxidation occur and where the reduction occur. So, galvanic cell, it is a simple electrochemical cell where two electrodes are there. First is zinc electrode, which is dipped in one molar of its solution, which is ZnSO4 and copper electrode is dipped in one molar of its solution, which is copper sulphate. And then it is connected with inverted U tube, which is called salt bridge. And this inverted U tube, there is an electrolyte either KCl, NaCl or KNO3. The condition is they must be in reactive, that is, they should not reaction with each other. And second is the mobility of both ion must be comparable or almost safe. And this inverted U tube, at the end there is a cotton plug and this electrolyte, it is filled with semi-solid substance which is we can say gelatin or agar agar. And then connect the circuit. Ab in, ke in case of zinc and copper, if we check the potential, If we check the potential, the reduction potential of zinc is, the reduction potential of zinc is minus 0.76 volt and the reduction potential of, this is oxidation, so it is plus 0.6 and reduction that is gain of electron, this and it is minus 0.76. And the reduction potential of copper is this. So, the problem is how we find which will work as an anode and which will work as a cathode. So, in this case, now check the mathematical value, but the condition is both should be in same form and here both are in reduction form. Now, mathematical value is minus 0.76 and plus 0 0.34. 0 0.34 is more. That is the reduction value of copper is more. So, it will work as a cathode. Definitely another electrode, it will work as a anode. And if both are in reduction form, we can say E naught cell is equal to E naught cathode minus E naught anode. Cathode is copper. So, E naught cathode is 0 0.34 and E naught anode is minus 0 0.76 and which is equal to 1.1 volt. So, the electrode potential of galvanic cell is this and when we write the cell reaction, since oxidation of zinc occur, so the cell reaction will be Zn which will give you Zn plus 2 plus 2 electron. This is the chemical reaction and cell reaction is first electrode and then its solution, it may be ZnSO4, ZnCl2, whatever that is Zn plus 2 must be there. Connected with salt bridge and then reduction of copper occur, that is copper plus 2 plus 2 electron which will give you Cu. So, here we take first ion and then electrode. So, this is the cell reaction and this is the chemical reaction. Now, salt bridge, uh, it is an inverted U tube and the purpose of this salt bridge is avoid the contact of those uh, both uh, jar and it uh, neutralize the cell reaction and it act as a electrical contact between the two cells. And the another point is where when the reaction occur and suppose at this cell plus ions are less, so salt bridge it provide the plus ions that is it maintain the electrical neutrality. Now, suppose question is this and here we find what is the cell potential. So, first remember point both should be in reduction form, both are in reduction form. Now, check the electrode potential. Since these are in reduction form, so this will called reduction potential. And in case of reduction, first ion that is Ag plus and then electrode. In this case, copper plus 2 
and then copper. Now check the mathematical value. Mathematical value is 0.799 and 0.337 that is 0.799 is more. It means in this case silver electrode it will work as a cathode. Definitely copper electrode it will work as a anode. So what will be the overall reaction? In case of copper the reaction will be Cu which will give you Cu plus 2 plus 2 electron. And in case of silver, the reaction will be 2Ag plus plus 2 electron, which will give you 2Ag. This will be combined reaction. And what will be the cell reaction? First, this, then iron concentration given. Suppose it is 1 molar, then salt bridge, then reduction. Reduction means first silver and then silver. And let us its concentration is 1 molar. So, this is the cell electrochemical reaction. Now, what will be the E naught cell? E naught cell E cathode minus E anode, but the condition is both should be in reduction form. E cathode is 0.799 and E anode is 0.337. So, the value which comes is E naught cell. Now, Nust equation. What is Nust equation? Nust equation, it is used to calculate cell potential of electrochemical cell at a given condition and the condition is temperature, pressure and reactant. And it is the best reaction which correlate the uh, thermodynamic function in with electrochemical function. It is introduced by German chemist W. H. Nust. So, let us consider a metal electrode and which is dipped in its solution. So, the reduction reaction will be M n plus plus n electron which will give you M because we know that reduction means gain of electrode. The work done for the movement of electron, it is NFE where E is reduction. So, we can say W reduction. We know that the Gibbs free energy and which is the measurement of spontaneity. It is equal to the maximum work done. So, what will be the value of delta G? The delta G will be equal to minus Nf E E naught or E reduction. For a reversible reaction, we know that delta G is equal, it is a want of equation which is delta G is equal to delta G naught plus RT ln K. And we know that delta G is equal to minus NFE and delta G naught is equal to minus NFE naught. So, we put the value of delta G and delta E naught. So, we will get this equation where R is the gas constant which is uh, here we put the 8.314 and its uh, value is different depends on its unit. T is temperature. So, here we take 27 degree centigrade and ln and when we convert this ln into log, then 2.303. Now, divide the whole equation with minus nf, then we can say E reduction is equal to E naught reduction minus 2.303 RT upon nf, where f is the Faraday, which is equal to 96500 approximately Coulomb log of concentration of or activity of product divided by activity of reactant R 8.314 this and this and when we find when we calculate this value it comes 0 0.0591 upon n where n is the number of electron used in the equation log of activity of product and in this product is metal. So, we can say the concentration of metal divided by concentration of metal ion. This. So, this is the Nust equation for half reaction. And when we take a reversible reaction and let the reaction is AA plus BB, which is equilibrium with CC plus DD, then the Nust equation will be E is equal to E naught cell and which is reduction minus or we, uh, cathode minus anode 
0 0.0591 upon n log of c to the power c, d to the power d divided by a to the power a and b to the power b and which is called reaction quotient or q. But at equilibrium this q is k but at equilibrium E reduction it will be 0. Now application of this nurse equation and we discuss this application question wise. So, the first application is this reduction uh, sorry this equation is used to calculate single potential. Single potential means either single reduction or oxidation potential at any condition and effect of electrolyte condition concentration on electrode potential. Let the question is a zinc electrode is placed in 0.1 molar ZnSO4 solution at 25 degree centigrade and uh, in NAS to case uh, uh, one, um, one more thing T. T is 298 Kelvin not 27. So, 298 Kelvin means 25 degree centigrade and assuming that 20 percent dissociation of ZnSO4. Now, dissociation of ZnSO4. So, it is much convenient to take the dissociation that is reduction reaction. So, what will be the reduction reaction? ZnSO4 means Zn plus 2 ion and it will gives Zn by gaining 2 electron. So, the reaction will be Zn plus 2 plus 2 electron which will give you Zn. The concentration of Zn plus 2 is 0 0.1 molar, but 20 percent dissociation occur that is 20 by 100 and which is equal to 0 0.02 molar. Now, for this half cell, the Nurse equation will be E reduction is equal to E naught reduction minus 0 0.0591 upon here the number of electron involved is 2 log of product upon reactant. The product is Zn concentration and reactant is Zn plus 2 concentration. Pure metal electrode is solid, so its concentration is always taken as 1. Now, E reduction is equal to E naught reduction, the reduction potential and how we find the reduction, it is reduction because Zn plus 2, it is converting Zn that is definitely by gaining electron, so it is reduction potential. So, reduction potential is minus 0 0.76 minus 0 0.0591 upon 2 log of its value is 1 and Zn plus 2 value is 0 0.02. So, when we solve this, it comes 0 0.05. So, the value will be minus 0 0.76 minus 0 0.05 and which is 0 0.81 volt. So, the first application is we can calculate single either reduction potential and if we take oxidation, so we can say oxidation potential. Now, the second problem or second application is finding the feasibility of reaction and we can calculate the concentration of react, uh, 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 iron also. Now, calculate the potential of following electrochemical cell at 25 degree centigrade. Iron concentration is this and the E cell, uh, e cell is Okay, H ion and copper. We know that reduction potential of copper is 0 0.34 and hydrogen is always 1, sorry 0. If we check the mathematical value, the mathematical value of copper is more, that is According to us, the copper will work as a cathode and this hydrogen electrode it will work as an anode. But 
in this question, since copper is written first, so definitely the oxidation of this copper occur that is it will work as an anode and it will work as a cathode. So now check the application. We can find the feasibility of reaction because as per our concept, copper should be reduction that is first hydrogen will come and then copper. But since in this question, oxidation of copper occur, so definitely E cell of this answer, it will be negative. And when E cell is negative, means reaction is non-spontaneous. Now check this, E cell is equal to E naught cell, E naught cell is cathode minus anode. Forget our concept, now do according to this equation. Now, in this case, cathode is 0, anode is 0 0.34. So, 0 minus 0 0.34 minus 0 0.0591 upon number of electron involved. In this, the reaction will be copper, copper plus 2 plus 2 electron. So, definitely the number of electron will be 2. Log of concentration of product upon reactant. How we find product and reactant. Now check copper as per this question, copper oxidation that is copper plus 2 plus 2 electron, hydrogen reduction that is 2H plus plus 2 electron which will give you Cu. So what will be the overall reaction? The overall reaction will be Cu plus 2H plus which will give you Cu, sorry H2, so which will give you H2 plus Cu plus 2. Now, log of product, product means concentration of H2 since it is in gas form, so we can take pressure, then copper plus 2 divided by copper and 2 H ion that is H ion square, hydrogen 1 atmosphere, sorry hydrogen 0.95 atmosphere, copper plus 2 0.50. H plus 0 0.01, put all the values and when we keep all the values that is log of 0 0.95 multiply by 0 0.50 divided by 1, it is solid into 0 0.01 square that is 0 0.01 into 0 0.01. Here 0 0.0591 upon 2 minus and then minus 0 0.34. Now when we solve this, we will get 0.449 with negative sign. And this negative sign shows this cell reaction is not feasible. It is uh, clear or we can say okay, uh, it is uh, as per concept. Again, this cell is not possible because the reduction potential of copper is more. So, copper will work as a cathode and this will work as a anode. So, this is second application. Now, third is through this Nash equation, we can find the value of x that is unknown concentration of ionic species given in cell. Now, in this case, the question is the copper plus 2 ion concentration and the cell is copper silver electrode is 0.1 molar and we have to find Ag plus concentration if the electrode potential of both are given. Now check the mathematical value. Mathematical value 0 0.8 and 0 0.34, 0 0.8 is more. So as per our concept, this will work as a cathode and it will work as a anode. So, what will be the reaction? The reaction will be copper, copper plus 2 plus 2 electron and this copper is solid, so its uh, value is 1 and second is 2 Ag plus plus 2 electron which will give you 2 Ag. Why we take 2? Because to cancel the electrons. So, this will be the reaction Cu 2 Ag plus which will give you Cu plus 2 plus 2 Ag 
this is the rough reaction and when we do 10 or more question so automatically we can find the this reaction then no need to write this reaction now the nurse equation e cell is equal to e naught cell and what is the e naught cell e naught cathode minus e naught anode but the condition is both are in reduction form minus 0 0.0591 automatically n2 log of product upon reactant and through this chemical reaction we can easily find. So, what are the products? Cu plus 2 then 2 Ag, 2 Ag means stoichiometric constant num 2 and then 2 Ag plus that is Ag square and then Cu. Here Cu and Ag these are metallic solid form so 1 1. Now E cathode minus anode cathode is 0.8, anode is 0.34 minus 0 0.0591 upon 2. Now, E cell is given. So, E cell is 0.422, copper plus 2 concentration is 0.1. So, log of 0.1, Ag plus square is 1 square. Ag plus let it is x and then copper is 1. So, the value will be 0 0.422 this is equal to 0 0.46 minus 0 0.0591 upon 2 which is 0 0.0296 and then this and when we solve this the value will be 0.0722. So, what will be Ag plus concentration which is x and it is 0 0.0722 mole. Now, the next question is this Nernst equation is very useful to calculate H ion concentration or we can say H uh, pH of the solution and what is the pH? We know that pH is equal to minus log H plus. So, the question is the EMF of cell measured by hydrogen electrode against saturated calomel electrode and when we take saturated calomel electrode generally it will work as a cathode at 298 Kelvin is 0.4188 volt. If the pressure of hydrogen was maintained at one atmosphere, calculate the pH. In this type of question, where uh, pH is, uh, um, we have to calculate pH calculate, then we can apply a direct formula. And what is the direct formula? pH is equal to E cell minus E reference divided by 0.0591. But if you do not remember this, so let us do the, this question. Hydrogen electrode with calomel electrode. So, hydrogen electrode, platinum wire, then H2, which will give you 2 H plus plus 2 electron. So, H2 is hydrogen gas is maintained at 1 atm. Then H plus ion concentration what is given. Then connected with salt bridge calomel electrode. Calomel electrode is KCl solid then Hg2Cl2 and then Cl minus. The reaction will be H2 which will give you 2H plus plus 2 electron and in this case Hg2Cl2 gain that is 2 electron which will give you 2 Hg plus 2 Cl minus. Now, read this question again. The potential of reference electrode, calomel electrode is 0.2 that is E cathode is given and which is equal to 0.2415. Now, Again, 
repeat uh, remember this when we apply e cell is equal to or e not cell is equal to cathode minus anode what is my condition the condition is both cells should be in similar form that is if we take reduction here so in first case we will also take reduction but when we find suppose e anode e anode is equal to here the reaction is oxidation e not anode minus 0 0.0591 upon 2 log of h plus square e not anode 0 because it is hydrogen electrode and when we solve this it is 0 0.0591 pH but when we apply with in uh, E cell it should be now it is in oxidation form and when we take in reduction form the value will be minus 0 0.0591. So, what will be the E cell? E cell is equal to E cathode minus E anode but condition is both are in reduction. So, this value is 0 0.2415 and its value is minus 0 0.0591 pH. E cell is given and which is 0.4188 and when we solve this the pH will come approximately 3. So, if we apply this di uh, formula directly then E is equal to 0.4188, E reference is equal to 0.2415 divided by 0 0.0591, the value will be 3. Now, another application is determining the equilibrium constant. So, this Nernst equation is very useful to find K, but when equilibrium occur, the E cell will be 0. So, in Nernst equation E cell is 0 equal to E naught cell minus 0 0.0591 upon N or we can say RT upon NF ln K. So, E naught cell is equal to RT upon NF ln KC or 0 0.0591 upon N ln log of K. Question is this, here K cal we have to find K reduction potentials are given. Now, ch again check the e reaction. The mathematical value of Mg is more, but uh, then check. Here Mg solid to ion that is it is oxidation potential. And when we compare uh, what again I am saying both should be in reduction form. So, if we check the reduction value that is Mg plus 2 upon Mg it will come minus point two point three seven. Now, when we check the reduction mathematical value 0 0.80 is more. So, silver will work as a cathode and magnesium will work as an anode. And when we check this from this cell equation, it is clear. Now, E cell is equal to 0. So, E naught cell is equal to 0 0.0591 here n is 2 log of k. And E cell is equal to cathode minus anode cathode is 0 0.80, anode is minus 2.37, then minus minus plus, we can calculate K. So, limitations. In a very dilute solution, the activity of ion is close to infinity and be expressed in terms of ion concentration. However, for solution having very high concentration, this is not equal to ion activity. So, in order to use Nernst equation in such cases, the experimental measurements, it must be conducted to obtain the true activity of the ion. And one another shortcoming is, it cannot be used to measure cell potential when there is a current flowing through the electrode, because the flow of current, it affect the activity of ion with cation or anion on the surface of the electrode. Also addition factors such as resistive loss and over potential, it must be considered when there is a current flowing through the electrode. So, I finish this lecture. Thank you.